This build was requested by our dear friend and frequent viewer, Ag Silver Radio. Thank you once again for this suggestion. This was a tough one, but I think I got it perfectly. Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehon, and welcome back to Pathfinder Hero Flux. That is Flux, short for fluctuation. This is a parody off of the Dungeons & Dragons character conversion series that I also do on this channel, which is why I chose the word fluctuation. It is a synonym of conversion. Conversion, fluctuation. You get it? Okay. Today we are taking a look at Angus MacGyver from the MacGyver franchise. Now, there are two different series on MacGyver. There is an old one from 1985, and then the most recent one was released in 2016. So, if I refer to any information that doesn't quite sound right, it might be from either the older one or the newer one, whichever one that it came from. Though both of these series are very similar, they only tweaked a couple of canonical things about the character MacGyver. <clears throat> MacGyver is actually part of a think tank in the original series, but actually works for the government disguised as a think tank in the newer series. So keep that in mind when we take a look at how we convert this character into Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Which you and your friend had some interesting theories at Silver Radio about what this character might be like. And yes, I would have to agree, both the Alchemist and the Thaumaturge are excellent classes for a MacGyver style of character. Not exactly MacGyver himself, but Thaumaturge does work perfectly for a style of character that is probably modeled after MacGyver. However, we are not looking at a character that is in-universe Pathfinder. We are looking at somebody who most likely got transferred from their world over to the Pathfinder world. We are going over the canon that is this character. While I would agree that using the Thaumaturge is pretty MacGyver behavior, it is not canonical to what MacGyver is. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Our stats are going to increase by two for dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. For our ancestry, we are obviously going to be picking human, with the heritage of versatile human, a first for any of our human builds on this series. This will give us an increase in our intelligence and our wisdom, with starting hit points equal to 8, speed of 25 feet. We'll go for the ancestry feat of natural skill, giving us trained skills in survival and deception, and we'll also get the feather step feat. Since we are working for the government and is a think tank to figure out what is going on in various situations, we are going to be a detective. This will give us an increase in our dexterity and in our intelligence. We'll be trained in the skills of society and underworld law, and we'll get a free feat in a Streetwise. Next is our class. Again, we are a government agent working as a think tank. So we are going to have to go with the investigator class. This will go with our intelligence score. We'll get starting hit points of 8 plus our constitution modifier. Well, extra hit points anyway. We are expert in perception. Saving throws, we are trained in fortitude and experts of will and reflex. We are trained in the following skills. Acrobatics, athletics, crafting, diplomacy, medicine, nature, performance, stealth, thievery, and occultism. Our trained attacks are simple, martial, and unarmed attacks. 
are trained defenses, are light armor and unarmored defense. We have the abilities Clue In, Expeditious Inspection, Devise a Stratagem, On the Case, Pursue a Lead, Strategic Strike. We get the Methodology of Imperiousism. We get the free feat of That's Odd. And the class feat Take Down Experts. MacGyver does not like using guns. In fact, he does not like using offensive tactics. He's not a violent person. He will resort to violence as a mean of self-defense. So having a feat like Take Down Expert is definitely preferable for a character like MacGyver. Moving on to level 2 Investigator, we are going for the expert skill in Stealth. Class feat is going to be Athletic Strategist, and we are going with the skill feat Improvise Tool. We do have a Swiss Army Knife, which has a lot of different tools in it, but for those cases where we do not have the correct tool, we sometimes have possibly a paperclip as a way to use as a tool. Moving on to level 3, we are experts in the society skill. We'll be getting improvised repair as our feat, and thanks to our investigator's skillful lessons, we also get the skill feat of courtly graces. And since we are a third level investigator, we also have keen recollection. Moving on to level 4 investigator, we are experts at crafting, we'll grab the class feat of alchemist dedication, which gives us infused regents and a free feat in alchemical crafting. And we'll also grab the skill feat of sign language, since MacGyver is known to be proficient in sign language, as well as many other languages. At level 5, we'll go ahead and increase our Dexterity, Constitution, and Charisma each by 2, while increasing our Intelligence by 1. We'll become experts in the Nature skill. We'll grab the Ancestry feat, Clever Improviser, which gives us a free feat in Untrained Improvisation, and we'll go for the Skillful Lessons skill feat of Forensic Akumen. At level 6, we'll go ahead and become experts in medicine. We'll grab the quick, the class feat, quick alchemy, and the skill feat, quick squeeze. Quick squeeze. Don't know why I put an L in there. Anyway, it makes sense for MacGyver to use these tactics to try to get in and out of certain situations. And using quick alchemy is for those... Well, he does have alchemical skills, according to the Wikipedia page, which he uses in some of his MacGyver tactics. Moving on to level 7 investigator, we are now experts in acrobatics. We'll grab the general feat of expeditious search. Our skillful lessons will give us access to the skill feat of survey wildlife. MacGyver is known as a... Uh, oh, what's the term? An ally for cultural... Not cultural. Uh, shoot, I forgot the term. Uh, anyway. Wildlife... Uh, protection. He actively seeks to protect the endangered animals... In the old series, that was the Black Rhino and a couple of birds, I believe. But yes, he does try to help out the wildlife whenever he can. And he also has a big brother mentality when he tries to protect children. So make sure you keep that in mind when you are role-playing your MacGyver. We also have access to Vigilant Senses and Weapon Specialization. Moving on to level 8, we are now experts in diplomacy, and we'll grab the class feat of expert alchemy and the skill feat of battle medicine. Moving on to level 9, we are masters of stealth. We'll grab the ancestry feat of hardy traveler, and thanks to our skillful lessons, we can go ahead and grab the skill feat of experienced professional. We'll get also the great fortitude and investigator expertise. 
At level 10 investigator, we'll go ahead and increase our constitution, wisdom, and charisma each by two, and increase our intelligence by one. We are masters in the society skill, and we become trained in the religion skill. We'll go ahead and grab the class feat of a red herring, and the skill feat of assurance, which we will get in stealth. Moving on to level 11, we are now masters in the crafting skill. We'll get the general feat of incredible scout. Thanks to our skillful lessons, we now have the skill feat, cooperative crafting. Since we all e in a team in the newer series, it makes sense to do these improvisations with our teammates. We also get deductive improvisation and resolve. Moving on to level 12, we are now experts in survival. We'll get the class feat of 4C Danger and the skill feat of Inventor. Moving on to level 13, grab the master skill in Diplomacy. We'll get the Ancestry feat Incredible Improvisation. And thanks to our skillful lessons, we'll get Wilderness Spotter Planes. We also have Weapon Mastery, Light Armor Expertise, and Incredible Senses. Moving on to level 14, we are now Masters in the Medicine skill. We'll get the class feat of Trick, Driver, Dedication, and the skill feat of Biographical Eye. I decided to go with Trick, Driver, Dedication simply for the fact that some of the Investigator feats did not work so well, and I thought I would reference his three vehicles from the old series. Two of them being Jeeps, and the other one being his, I think his grandfather's pickup truck. Next is level 15. Go ahead and increase your strength, wisdom, and charisma each by two, and increase your intelligence by one. We are now masters in acrobatics. We'll go ahead and grab the feat Thorough Search, and the skill feat for our skillful lessons will be Medical Researcher. We also have access to Evasion and Greater Weapon Specialization. Moving on to level 16, we are now legendary in the crafting skill. We'll get the class feat of Plot the Future, and the skill feat of Assurance once again for crafting this time. At level 17, we are experts in the thievery skill. Probably should have done that sooner, honestly. But anyway, our ancestry feat is going to be cooperative nature, and the skill feat from our skillful lessons is going to be hobnobber. <coughs> Pardon. We also have greater resolve at this level. Moving on to level 18, we are masters in thievery, have the class feat of strategic bypass, and the skill feat of craft anything moving on to level 19 we are now masters in survival we get the feat true perception and thanks to our skillful lessons we'll once again get wilderness spotter but this time for mountain we also have access to light armor mastery and master detective and finally, at level 20, go ahead and increase your strength, dexterity, and constitution each by two. Increase your intelligence by one. Grab the master skill of nature. Get trained in intimidation. And grab the class feat all the time in the world, alongside the skill feat discreet inquiry. And with that being said, that is all the time I have for you today. I do apologize. Some of this was a little bit rushed, so I wasn't exactly able to explain all the reasoning behind these different feats. But once again, with all of these characters, you do not have to follow this video step by step. If you want to make a MacGyver-style character with a different class or different set of feats, you are more than welcome to. And once again, I do think that the Thaumaturge would work perfectly if MacGyver was growing up in the world of Pathfinder. So if you have a Thaumaturge MacGyver, that's great. I totally support that build. It's not really a problem. I am just doing what is canonical with these characters. That is all. But 
With that being said, I do hope that you enjoyed this build nonetheless. Let me know down in the comments section below who you would like to see in the next Pathfinder Hero Flux. That is Flux, short for Fluctuation. I have to keep saying that because one time I didn't and YouTube tried to strike my video. Anyway, until next time, this has been Drehon, and I am offline.